you thought of this, didn't you? When you saw the title, you thought of this. Don't lie. <laughs> Don't lie. You thought of this. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. In today's material, we will indeed be covering the wiggle, the pounce wiggle, the hunt and stalk wiggle, whatever you would like to call it. What's it all about and why do cats do it? That is our topic for today. And before we shimmy straight into things, let's explore this topic overview. Cats wiggle their rear ends to gain traction before they jump. Moving their back legs also allows them to determine what kind of terrain is underfoot. Doing so enables them to check their balance and perform a solid leap. It's possible that wiggling stretches and warms up the muscles to prevent injury. Cats also experience a surge of adrenaline before pouncing. So wiggling could be a display of their excitement. Oh boy. So it's all about proper traction balance stretching and readiness and excitement. I know the feeling. That's pretty much me as a child with my hot wheels. Just too much excitement and too much joy to contain. And speaking of joy, we are overjoyed that you have decided to join us today. We thank each and every one of you for your support and for your time. You keep the wheels turning. And for that, we are truly grateful. As for the wiggling, let's dance our way into the first subsection, shall we? While we've already more or less covered the basics, let's spend some time on each of them today. The shake and shimmy deserves our respect and attention now. So here are a few theories that are most common. First up is checking balance. I mean, this makes all the sense in the world, right? A good overall standing is important. The balance is important, just like a runner in the starting block. You're pretty much worthless on a sneak attack if you can't get things down. If you, can't, if you, you don't want to ruin those initial movements. You need that all-important balance, right? So you don't want to flop coming right out of the gate. Before a cat commits to doing whatever it's about to do, they have to make sure their, their terrain is necessary and strong and necessary footing is strong within that terrain. The wiggle in this case is the wiggle of assurance. We're locked in and we're ready, so let's pounce. Next up is preparing muscles. Similar to a runner here again, you've got to make sure those muscles are warmed up and stretched. Uh, you have to have them fire on all cylinders to complete the task. If a cat is about to make a big jump, not only is footing critical, but a limber body is essential in order to meet the challenge, especially if it's a sneak attack and a cat really only has one shot at things. If it's a make it or break it situation, a cat doesn't want to blow the chance by having a physical setback. And next up is, you probably guessed it, it is indeed traction. Just like the importance of balance, proper footing in terms of traction is key. Any race fans, any stock car race fans in the house, have you ever seen the leader spin the tires on that all-important restart with just a couple of laps to go? Yeah, that's no good at all. And same with cats. You can't jump and pounce when a good push-off and success depends on balance and proper traction. Don't want to spin those tires or spin, the, spin those paws in this case. Cats will wiggle their rear ends to get a grip. Get those paws ready for business. Next up is sensory function. The wiggle and the shimmy can also be used for sensory purposes. Think of the wiggle in this capacity as a timing mechanism. You ready for another sports analogy? I know you are. <laughs> sort, of, sort of like a batter in baseball. The batting stance is a timing trigger. Think of the wiggle as Mike Trout or any of the big names in the big leagues that you enjoy. It's all about timing and it's all about the cat giving a signal from their own body, letting them know that it's time to go, time to pounce. And the final one that we'll cover today is overexcitement. You just don't stand like a statue when you're all pumped up and ready, right? Uh, well, the rear end wiggle is the anticipation. Everything has come together for this moment, and I'm ready to pounce. On prey or a toy, presumably, it's all come down to this. Here again, a child with Hot Wheels. That's probably the most simplistic way to describe it. Dopamine overload. The cat shakes that rear end. The ground quakes. and It's, it's go time. So, is it learned or instinctual? That's probably a little bit of both. Cats often initiate what they see in other felines, especially when they're very young most of which comes from good old mom. If they have observed mom hunt, they will do the same and act the same. Uh, if mother is good at shaking and, and shimmying, the kittens will adopt it in no time fast. And of course, we can't interview a cat to get a worthy response, but I'm just guessing the act itself is fun. Wiggle and pounce. Yeah, I'm sure cats love it because they love to stalk and hunt. Cats will watch a leaf for an hour, but as soon as the wind blows it two inches, They'll make a party of the situation. We've probably all seen this or something similar. Wiggle time is the right time for young and adult felines. 
Of course, dancing in this fashion is not as common in senior cats as much of the robust activity of life uh, sort of comes to an end during the golden years. And on that note, that will conclude things for this video and for the video side of life. This was a fun one, a bit of a quirky video, but good times. And if you'd like to continue those good times, we do invite you to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com at the conclusion of this presentation. There you'll find a full-length and highly detailed article dedicated to the Wiggle. And we think you will enjoy it. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, we do encourage you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to the article in question. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will. Well, we'll talk to you later.